Hey guys, welcome to my channel and here we get the another optional quality update in Windows 10 laptop and desktop and it is an important update because it is related to extended security updates plan of Windows 10. So let's get started. To update it, first go to settings and in settings if we go in update and security. So you can see option quality update available 2025-07 cumulative update review for Windows 10 version 22H2 for x64 based systems KB5062649. And guys, the size of this update is 721.6 MB. And if you want to learn more about this update, simply click on learn more. And now if we go in Windows 10 version 2.2 H2 update history, so you can see July 22, 2025, KB5062649. Click on it. So you can see. Here we have Windows Secure Boot Certification Expiration. As you can see, important it is important secure boot certificates used by most Windows devices are set to expire starting in June 2026. The, this might affect the ability of certain personal and business devices to boot securely if not updated in time. To avoid disruption, we recommended reviewing the guidance and uh, taking action to update certificates in advance for details and operation setup see windows secure boot certification expiration and ce updates here we have notice for microsoft store application updates and this is the end of support support information and if you see the summary here we have this preview update contains the fixes and quality improvements contained in the following update. This is the previous quality update. Here you can see July 8, 2025, KB5062554. Okay, and you can see the following is a summary of the key issues that this update addresses. The bold text within the brackets indicates the items or area of the change we are documenting. So you can see extended security updates fixed. It is fixed finally an issue impacting the Windows 10 extended security updates, ESU enrollment wizard. Some users experienced a problem where clicking enroll now caused the wizard window to open, begin loading, and then close unexpectedly. This occurred due to incomplete app registration which prevented the wizard from loading correctly this update addresses that issue to ensure a smoother enrollment experience so in this update this is successfully fixed the esu enrollment wizard is successfully fixed and here we have mobile operator profiles which is updated country and operator settings assets Profiles is updated and this is the secure boot, which is a new thing. Adds the ability to deploy SKU SI policy VBS anti rollback protection through the secure boot available updates registry keys. And here we have input a known issue when searching for an emoji in the emoji panel after a recent update, the search always return no results. And here is the also unfixed. An issue in which phonetic input methods, including the Hindi phonetic input keyboard and Marathi phonetic keyboards, do not work correctly after a recent update, which is also fixed. And if we go down, you can see this is the servicing stack update. And this is the known issues in this update, and we are currently not aware of any issues with this update. And this is how to get this update. And this is the file information you can download it from there. Okay, so close it. Okay, now guys, I would suggest you download this option quality update because it is an important update which is related to ESU. So click on download and install. As you can see, downloading start, guys. It will take several minutes, so kindly wait.
So finally downloading is 100% completed. Let's see when installing will start and guys there's no need to stuck on this window just minimize it and do other tasks so here let's see when installing will start so after a few more minutes installing you can see it has started and currently at okay so it is going good the current condition is good as you can see installing speed is good it is at 25 percent let's see So you can see again it started from one percent this is the major bug available in windows update and i don't know why microsoft is not fixing this major bug i don't know why as you can see installing at 33 percent guys it will take several minutes so kindly wait So as you can see installing 100% completed let's see what will happen so what i was thinking it's correctly right as you can see installing again started guys it will take several minutes so kindly wait So finally installing 100% completed you can see let's see when we will get the restart now and schedule the restart option so here we get the restart now and schedule the restart option guys after the restart this update will successfully install and which will take three to five minutes okay guys thanks for watching if you have any query latest video let me know in comment section below please like share subscribe and click on that icon for the latest updates